the second feature is starter dependencies spring boot provides predefined dependency groups called starters which are added in pom.xml guys if you are creating a spring application just by using maven without spring boot then you need to manually add the dependencies by going and searching it from maven central repository if dependency a depends on another dependency b then it is your work that you need to add both of them this was the biggest issue when you were creating applications using spring with the help of maven but with spring boot it is reduced spring boot has got its own predefined set of starters it is similar to when you want to order something from a restaurant you pick and choose the menu items and click submit where the items are getting added to the cart similarly when you want to create a spring boot project you can pick and choose the dependencies that you want which are picked up from the starter dependencies and automatically added to your project few common starters are given over here spring boot starter web which is used for rest apis and web application spring boot starter data jpa this is used for performing crud operations with the database completely for database access spring boot starter security for adding authentication and authorization to your application spring boot starter test for testing your application